Hello, welcome to the recording of the Using Peer Review Sources Workshop. My name is Alberto Romero, and I'm an adjunct librarian at Glendale Community College. Some reminder and suggestions. Please feel free to stop this recording at any time to do the activities or to take a break. You can return when you're ready. The recording of the workshop is a great way to review the library's live Zoom workshop. In order to get credit for attending a library Zoom workshop, you must enroll through my GCC. For information on the library workshops and credit classes, go to https colon forward slash forward slash campus guides dot glendale dot edu forward slash library forward slash instruction forward slash library workshops. The Using Peer Reviewed Sources Workshop Campus Guide can be located at https colon forward slash forward slash campus guides dot glendale dot edu forward slash using peer review sources. Today, we will differentiate scholarly and popular sources. Identify peer reviewed sources in databases. Use ProQuest database to find peer reviewed sources. This will be a student exercise. Let's begin with the definition of peer review. Peer review now. Definition of peer review, a process by which something proposed as for research or publication is evaluated by a group of experts in the appropriate field. Differentiate scholarly and popular sources. Scholarly sources present original research, are written by researchers or researcher audiences, and often undergo a peer review process. They include some telltale signs, like citations to other research, and are published by a research institution or professional organization. Popular sources are written for broader audiences rather than scholarly ones. While they may refer to research, they do not present original research. Popular sources are never peer reviewed. This is a table that shows the characteristics and are commonly associated with scholarly or popular sources. Both scholarly and popular sources can be appropriate for your research purposes depending on your research question, but research assignments will often require you to consult primarily with scholarly materials. Let's take a look at the difference between scholarly and popular sources. Authors, scholar or researcher in a field with stated credentials and affiliations. In popular, Authors can be staff writers, journalists, or often generalists. Examples of scholarly sources can be the Journal of Cinema and Media Studies, New England Journal of Medicine, Nature, Educational Psychologists, books from university presses such as Oxford University Press and the University of California Press whereas sources for popular can come from Wikipedia, CNN.com, About.com, People Magazine, USA Today, best-selling books, books from popular publishers like Penguin and Random House. The purpose for scholarly sources is to present research findings and expand knowledge in a discipline 
or specific field of study. Whereas the purpose of popular sources is to inform about current or popular events, issues, or popular culture to entertain. The language and scholarly sources can be complex, follows academic writing style, includes discipline specific jargon or technical terms. The language in popular sources is easier to read and will define specialized terms. The format of scholarly sources almost always includes abstracts, literature reviews, methodologies, results and conclusions. The format in popular sources it's a mix of short and in-depth articles on a wide variety of subjects. Scholarly sources often include bibliographies, citations, and footnotes that follow a particular academic style guide. Whereas in popular sources, no formal citations are included, may or may not informally attribute sources and text. Before a scholarly source is published, it's evaluated by peers, other scholars. In popular sources, it's edited in-house by editors or not edited at all. The audience for scholarly sources are often scholars, researchers, scientists, advanced students. The audience for popular sources are often general readers, shouldn't require any special background. The design for scholarly sources is mostly text with some tables and charts, very little photography and no advertising. Whereas in popular sources, there'll be glossary images, attractive design, bullet illustrations, and advertising are more common. Examples of popular sources are newspapers, magazines, primary sources, trade publications, books written for broader audiences, such as novels. Examples of scholarly sources, academic articles and journals, peer reviewed or refereed, books written by and for researchers, theses and dissertations, conference publications. Now let's look at this video on understanding peer review sources. Your professors ask you to cite peer-reviewed or scholarly articles in your research projects. When they do this, they're asking you to use articles that have gone through an editorial process called peer review before they're published in a scholarly journal. The peer review process works like this. When an author submits an article to a scholarly journal, it is evaluated for both accuracy and content and suitability for publication by a group of experts or peers from the same field as the author. If the outside experts believe it's good research, they give the author suggestions for further improvements to the article and the author revises it and sends it back to be reviewed again. This can happen multiple times before an article is finally deemed ready for publication. Practically all scholarly journals require a peer review process before they publish a research article. Therefore, peer reviewed research articles are also called scholarly articles. Scholarly journal articles are among the most preferred information sources for college level work because they have high expectations for quality and are reviewed by experts before being published. Peer reviewed articles most often contain original research and they always have a list of cited references so readers and editors know where the author of the article got their information. Many research databases have a way to search for peer reviewed articles. When you use a database, make sure you look out for this limiter. Source one, popular or scholarly, will be looking and searching for the characteristics for this article.
For source one, we have the title of the journal, Earth's Future, the title of the article, the authors and their affiliations. If you look to the left, there are key points and also that it's a research article. You have the abstract in technical language, the introduction, and we have some graphs here of the seasons. And the references, so you can go back and check other work from the study. Moving on to source two, is it popular or is it scholarly? Search for the characteristics. Here we've got the title of the article, the author, the publication, city and the state. We have an abstract. And we have full text of the article, which you can play. If you scroll down, you'll see that the article ends and we have contact information for this author. It's an illustration, a photo, Finding peer-reviewed sources, articles. Let's talk about searching and databases. Databases, they're free and reliable. Suggested databases for your research, academic search complete, JSTOR, and ProQuest. You can find sources by keyword searching. Use a Boolean operators and or not to combine the terms, keywords. Use them interchangeably or exclude any of them from your search and use the open and close parentheses to search for phrases. Use the save, email, print, or site features to save and access the articles later. Sign in to have full access to resources and features in the databases. The link for A through Z databases is on the GCC library website. Databases offer the full text of peer reviewed articles, newspapers, magazines, ebooks, book reviews, and other sources. A word on keywords, research topic. How is climate change affecting California? Use mean ideas and concepts. Eliminate words without meaning in your research question. Here, the main concept, main idea is climate change. Focus on what, who, when, where, why, and how. These are usually the big ideas that you need to search. Here, it's California. Demonstration, ProQuest, A through Z databases list. Under recommended databases, locate and click on ProQuest. 
click on the link, scroll down to ProQuest, and click on the link. And put climate change. Under location, input California. And click on search. Notice the number of results over 176,000. Let's use the limiters. Select peer reviewed. Scholarly journals. And the last five years. Notice our results. We now have 4,895. At this point, you can browse through the titles and see if any of them might be useful. Make sure you reach out to us if you need assistance. You can chat with a librarian, or you can give us a call or send us an email. We look forward to seeing you at one of the workshops. Take care.